In this tutorial, we're going to look at the process of importing ground model data into InfoWorks ICM. Ground model data is typically called LiDAR data, and it's surveyed using an aircraft and lasers. Data for this format generally comes in ESRI or vertical mapper formats, and we can look at both in this tutorial. Start the process over on the left hand side and select the right click, import and ground model grid. There are in fact two types of ground model that we can use in InfoWorks ICM. The ground model with a grid format is the most common, but we also support ground model in TIN or TIN format as well. For this tutorial, we're going to be looking at importing gridded data. And you can see from the menu that we have three choices available. We can import the ground model from individual grid files, or if you have a series of tiles that are making up the coverage for the area as a whole, you can just select the folder containing all of those grid tiles, or if somebody has exported their ground model from a edition of InfoWorks, either InfoWorks CS or InfoWorks ICM, we can import that into our new database here. For this tutorial, we're going to use a couple of individual files. Here they are now. The actual files themselves for LiDAR contain different types of data. Um, we commonly have a bare earth type model, we quite often will have files containing just contours, or we can have files that contain bare earth plus detail of buildings. And we're going to use the one with the detail and buildings. In this particular data set, there are five tiles that cover our area. And for this tutorial, we're just going to pick up the first two. You'll notice that these files have the ACS extension, which we're searching for here. This is the format that typically comes out of ESRI or ESRI, but also the other system is Vertical Mapper, and they will tend to be files with a TXT extension. Pick up the files that you want and press Open. Give the data set a name, um, just so it shows up in your uh, model, and uh, we can do that. We'll do two tiles. Specify whether the vertical uh, elevation data is in millimeters, meters, or feet. In my case, it's millimeters. The other data will be scanned from the input files. Your final choice is whether or not the data you bring in should be in integer format or floating point format. If you use floating point format, you will see much more detail, but obviously the process will take a little longer to do. With all your settings defined, press OK. There'll then be a short pause while InfoWorks ICM imports that data into the main database. Once that process is complete, we can see it appear over here on the left hand menu. All we need to do now is open our data set, which at the moment, as you can see, is entirely blank, and then drag our LiDAR onto the middle of the model. And there you can see straight away the LiDAR is shown up because we already have a ground model theme showing that data. If you don't have a theme created already, then simply do a right click and properties and themes, go to the bottom of the list where you'll find there is a section for the ground models, and there you can create a theme for your ground model. In this particular case, we've got the software doing auto ranging, so it's, it's scanned the ground model, seen that the heights go between uh, just under zero up to just over 100 meters. We're using a range of green colors, and they are all shown here in the strip map. You can choose your own model, make your own system, and then once you've done that, pressing OK will apply that, and you'll see the model in front of you. So that's a quick tutorial on how to import LiDAR data into InfoWorks ICM.